In the United States, senior officials from 33 countries have held a meeting to discuss pressure on Russia's defense industrial complex. This is stated in the Department of the Treasury of the United States. Senior officials representing finance ministries and other government departments also discuss the most important defense supply chains. All countries present have imposed sanctions and or export control against Russia for its war against Ukraine. U.S. officials shared information and analysis from the government about how these joint actions disrupted Russian military operations, defense purchases and undermined Russian battlefield efforts. Senior officials reaffirmed their commitment to holding Russia accountable. Moreover, senior officials talked through additional steps they plan to take to further weaken Russia's defense and industrial complex, as well as its ability to wage war. The Office for Foreign Assets Control, OFAC, of the U.S. Department of the Treasury issues instructions explaining that we are ready and able to apply sanctions against persons, companies or countries that supply ammunition to Russia or support the Russian defense industry, said Treasury spokesman Wally Adimo. Besides, the Bureau of Industry and Security of the U.S. Department of Commerce issued a joint warning describing actions against the defense industry of Russia as well as risks for those who provide material support to the invasion of the Russian Federation in Ukraine. Wally Adeyemo stressed that sanctions and restrictions imposed by Western countries, in particular against the Russian defense industry, have already directly affected the development of events on the battlefield in Ukraine. According to a report by the Office of the Director of National Intelligence of the United States, Western sanctions have sharply limited Russia's ability to produce weapons and ammunition that it loses in Ukraine. This has already forced the Kremlin to instruct its special services to find ways to avoid restrictions and purchase chips and critical technologies. Defense Minister Oleksiy Reznikov said that Ukraine will receive NASAMS anti-aircraft missile systems this month. He spoke about this on the live telethon, reports Liga. New anti-aircraft systems will help strengthen the air defense of Ukraine. Reznikov noted that Ukrainian specialists are now studying to operate at NASAMS air defense systems, which should come from the United States. The Pentagon reported that the first two NASAMS SAM batteries would arrive in Ukraine within the next two months. In late August, the U.S. Department of Defense awarded Raytheon missiles and defense to purchase two NASAMS systems. The transaction amounts to $182 million. However, the Pentagon clarified that the U.S. Army would receive these air defense systems no earlier than August 2024.